yes south africans this is day two south african lockdown and right now it's alexandra how did people in alexandra react to the lockdown let's see construction of the road is going ahead uh, we are in alex to see how people are taking the lockdown side alexandra we are heading to alexandra to see how people how serious people are taking the lockdown let's just hope serious enough Is a construction of a bridge that's taking place here. And it seems to be going on very well, but all the construction works have been uh, stopped, which means a delay. delivering this project but yet again we can understand so this is one of the most packed areas or townships of South Africa Alexandra where we're heading right now and uh, we want to see how serious they've taken this uh, lockdown because it's if anyone worries about any area that would be uh, badly affected should it get uh, should it be contaminated or should it get infected one of those areas would be Alexandra I know it's most of the townships but yes when it comes to Alex it's just one of those townships that one would be very worried to see no infection going in there so given the stature of the of the um, the area and the way the area is parked one would expect to see them adhering to the rules even more strictly but is that the case let's see let's try to go there and see if that's the case we are heading for Alexander in Johannesburg and this is day two of South African lockdown Alexandra Township when you look at the streets going to Alex not really so much cars are traveling Robots are taking so long to let us go. It's time to go. This is the area where you would also expect a strong presence of the security personnel to try and disperse crowds because uh, in Alex it's really hard to tell someone to stay indoors because of the type of structures of houses that are in Alex. You would really find it very hard for someone to stay in there for 21 days without getting out. But nevertheless, let's just go in there and see. For ourselves. Okay, so we start in what would be uh, the town, the township's town. Uh, call it the CBD or the uh, uh, the center where normally no more um, economic activities take place and that's pain uh, 
looking around not so much has changed in Alex but again it's not the way it's always is in Alex there's still a lot of people traveling around here but you would also understand that the uh, class of people in Alexandra is uh, not one that would uh, have quite a lot of capacity to stock food supply so I would not be surprised if I still see them on the streets in these numbers you would uh, expect them to be given that they need to get food but if you know Alexandra and you know pain you would really tell that they've done a very great job even though you still see a lot of people traveling around and uh, there's security personnel trying to disperse people I believe trying to tell people to go back home uh, but uh, given the way this area is always packed one would suggest that uh, they've done a great job This is uh, ShopRite, and you can see where the queues are up to. People trying to get something to eat. At ShopRite, and uh, when you look around, people are just walking as if everything is fine. Eh? It's not really. That much pro problematic to them. The businesses seems to be closed. All other businesses, but people are out in their numbers to get something to eat, to get food. Because, like I said, here um, people. It's um, the, the class of people you would call them the lower class. Uh, because we have three classes of uh, co uh, communities you would have the lower the middle and the upper so this would be the lower class which means they don't have the capacity to stock for the whole 21 days so i believe they're all in numbers out trying to get something to eat but when you look around the shops are all closed shops are all closed and now also if you have been to this place you would also understand that uh, the number of people out are actually very minimal compared to then the normal day-to-day -day crowds that you would find on these small streets of Alexandra but again this is the situation in Alex and uh, yeah There's still a number of people on the streets. I see a strong visibility of police personnel trying to stroll around. Peacefully, no one is forcing no one to do nothing. That's good. But everywhere you look, there's a police van in Alex. Unlike all those other towns that we've been to on this day too, in Alex there seems to be a lot of police presence. You can hear the silence. I believe it's the police trying to disperse people. The crowds. I'm forcing them to practice social distancing. Uh, you would uh, notice there's a lot of police presence in Alex quite a lot There we go police in masks patrolling the streets of Alex like I said, I would not be surprised if there is so many of them in Alex because given the number of people and the condition of living here, 
which would uh, force them to leave their homes to come out. Uh, when you look this side, everywhere you go in Alex, it seems as if there's quite a number of police presence telling people to go back into their homes, say their houses. Look around, there's quite a number of people. Yeah, I've seen the presence of military as well. So in Alex, people are all over. They're known. Look at that. The military is telling people to go back to their houses. The military is telling people to go back to their houses in Alexandra. So this is the situation. As you can see, there's the military. I think they've called this little man here to tell him to go back into the house. And they're asking him where he stays. Yeah, this is the situation that you would uh, expect here in Alexandra. Uh, but like I said, these are the houses. Look at the structure and ex tell me how you expect someone to sit in there for their whole day. I think these are the areas that the government needs to think a little bit more on how they're going to help them to fight with us, to, with the rest of the country. It's not really easy to be in those houses. We're still going to be strolling around a little bit. But that is Alex and there's a lot of uh, visibility of the security personnel, starting from the police, metro police and the military itself telling people to stay in their houses, which in my view is really going to be very hard for them. Not because people don't want to, but because of the conditions that they live under. Uh, we'll try to take another street in. Oh, we still have a red robot. terrible when one has to be forced to live inside but also it's necessary if we are to fight the spread of this destructive virus before it wreaks havoc to our medical systems before we get to just start seeing people dying one by one so this is Alexandra clinic It's kind of like it's closed. And this is Alexandra. Right now I'm traveling on London Road. And the people are out. But you would understand given the structures of the houses the people live in it's really hard for them to be inside not because they don't want to but because that's the situation and it seems as if something has just happened here the tension around Alex is worrying kids on the streets everyone seems very worried it's really hard to tell how they're gonna be navigating through this tough time but yeah let's get into the hood now people are out on the 
the streets of Alexandra. In the township of Alexandra. Strong presence of police. Police called group of people to, to have a chat with them. It seems to move around in Alexandra. You need to have a permit. From what I see, the police is trying to look on the some papers that presumably allows these people to move around. But this is the first time I see this happening. Elsewhere, people have just been moving, moving, and moving. As you can see, the police is demanding them to give them papers that presumably allows them to move around. A lot of police presence here. A lot of police presence at the Alex uh, hostels. There's those places that were built for people to stay in that are called hostels where so many people stay. I see a motorist running around. I think the situation up there is not really easy. Wow. Now that's the, what they call police presence in Alexandra. You cannot go via there at the hostels. Everyone should be inside. Hostel residents are all inside. And there's a strong, strong, strong military police and all security personnel presence around here in Alex. I think it's better we don't go there. But as you can see, At those hostels there the police is urging people to stay indoor uh, the situation seems tough in the uh, townships can't really go there strong police presence in Alexandra strong military presence and strong metropolis presence hostels are all being protected very tight in here so this is day two south african lockdown and it's alex town it's alex town how things are in Alex. It's so hard for them to be indoors. The structures of the houses is not conducive for one to be in for the rest of the 21 days. And you would understand why they want to be out. And uh, from what I've seen, they need to have permits to be out on the streets. I've seen a police 
personnel asking one of the residents for permits. A few of the residents have been asked permits. And uh, yeah, that's the situation. Strong police presence asking residents to go back in. But you would only imagine how it would have been. Are they talking to us? Yeah, it's tough around here in Alex. The police is urging residents to get inside for their safety. But like I said, when you look around the township, you would understand why it's so hard for anyone to be indoors. It's really not going to be as easy as other areas because uh, it's so full, it's so packed in Alex. Uh, so packed. So packed in Alex. The structures, buildings and everything in Alex is packed one after the other. People are packed. So it's going to be very easy to break the chain here. But the government, I think, should also try to think about other means in which they can help people around here to adhere to the rules. Because in the township, the story is completely different. The story in townships is completely different. There is situations, there is factors that makes breaking the chain here very hard. 22 minutes, South African lockdown, day two, Alexandra. That's where we are. And we're showing you the streets of Alex. There's these lovebirds here. They don't seem to care. Yeah. Terrible. Situation is terrible in Alexandra. Are out on the street playing. No one seems. To really know what to do around here. They don't know how they can handle this. The place is just so full packed. Jam packed. Thanks man. Talking about Corona on the streets. We are in the hoods of Alexandra. And it's South African lockdown day number two. I think it's uh, not really uh, a good environment to be in right now because of the presence of the police you never know anything can start happening right now but like I said we wanted to take you around the hoods of Alexandra so you can see what's going on here 24 minutes in. Police are busy, hands full, 
trying to disperse the crowd in Alex, telling people to distance themselves. Yeah, situation is in Alex is scary. I know it must even be more scary to the residents of Alex. The way the police is patrolling, I don't even think the police knows what to do for them, also because. Uh, when you look around, you will get a feel of the reason why people are really not staying at home. Yeah. There, there is the police telling the, the people to get inside the house. That was a command in uh, local language, telling them to get into the houses. But now, these are the houses. It's really hard for someone to be in there for a full day for 21 days. It's going to be hard for the police to police this in here. And uh, it's also going to be very hard for the people to deal with the situation. So the government, I think what it's doing is to fight so hard to see that something like this doesn't come here because it will be a very tough situation to be in to be very tough it will be very 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 tough but that's alex for you uh that's the situation in here people are scared people are worried people are terrified the presence of the security personnel is very much here let's just hope things get back to normal very soon and uh, that's alex for you it's day two south african lockdown we didn't manage to go all over alex by the way uh we just went through the few streets we could go to and then we figured that maybe it's it's time we get out of alex so guys that has been our, our tour of Alex uh, for today and uh, if you want us to go to any other township that you would like you can give us a comment in the comment section below tell us which say which township of Johannesburg would you want us to take you to and see how things are so that you don't have to get out yourself come and see how people are daring to this uh, um, directive from the president to stay indoors in order to fight this pandemic that has wreaked havoc almost throughout the whole world so there we are almost 30 minutes in Alex But nevertheless, it's not the usual Alex. This place is always full packed. It's always full packed. But nevertheless, in the hoods where the homes are, it's a terrible situation for them. You can't really force them to be inside. Not because they're above the directive, but because the situation for which they don't have control over is not easy for them to be inside those houses that you see for the whole day all right thank you very much for watching any other township you would like us to stroll you to we can do that give us a comment in the comment section below peace we out